and we know that he's going to do more amazing things than, than we even could imagine because when we think something by what we know, by what we feel, God continues to amaze us and just blow our expectations out of the water. We are the Springer family and this is our story. We noticed that our daughter um, was getting s like the common cold every so often and it just wasn't going away and we went for a checkup and we finally got like a real doctor and she was like, well, something doesn't sound right. Let's go get blood work and go to um, get an x-ray. And so we went through all the things, testing everything and it turned out it was pleural pulmonary blastoma and we did nine months of chemo um, and then she finished um, March of 2017 and bring us to 2019 and the she got a tumor the size of a softball inside her lung and emergency surgery and she'd start chemo the next week that was probably the hardest feeling yeah. ever like literally like you get punched in the stomach as hard as somebody can do it without you expecting it and that was I didn't was think we'd survive the second time no from the first time Braylon was diagnosed we were always believers in God and you know went to church and tried to do the right things and we were we thought we were doing it right by by our way but God needed more out of us. God had more in store for us, and He needed more out of us. And, and for that to just evolve into Braylon's healing twice and to get us where we need to be as, as followers of Christ and having these two children that are, are the future and really, really take us as parents to, to instill God's values in them and us be prime examples of that as, as followers of Christ and to always have that God first mentality because we've personally seen him work and God works in everybody's lives in many different ways. But God makes no mistakes and things that you don't want to go through. Pastor talks about trials, like you go through them for a reason and it's, it's God's perfectly detailed plan to why we go through what we go through and if you truly truly just put your heart in him and focus on him and do things with the know that he's always working he never stops and he loves all of us like we love our children he has the same love for us and he's always there paving the way for us and providing for us but he needs us to trust Him and, and follow Him and, and keep our focus on Him and, and just continue to, to love and trust Him.